Hey guys, it is Christine. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Mama to Three and I homeschool. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a review of the Gather Round curriculum. Okay, I could hear my kids fighting in the background. So hopefully, oh, they're still going for it. Hopefully it's gonna stop soon. <laughs> I want to share with you a review of this curriculum. Now, a little disclaimer, this is one of their mini units. I have not done one of their full units, but I'm going to share my thoughts on this. We did this just before Christmas, uh, the three weeks leading up to Christmas. If you're completely new to hearing about Gather Round, basically what the concept of it is doing all of your subjects combined as a group, all working on the same thing at the same time as a family. So it it takes away a lot of the time of switching between uh, different curriculum and it just simplifies things because this was created by a mom of, I think she has five children and she was just so tired of spending hours and hours and hours of her day homeschooling her children and it just didn't feel as effective as it should. And so she's created a curriculum that combines all subjects except for, I think maybe like math, maybe social studies. I don't know. She's got most of the sub school subjects in here, certainly the most important ones anyway, bar math uh, she has in her curriculum. And it's like a unit study. So you'll find that it's like based around, she's got one on Europe. She's got one on Africa. She's got one on North American birds. Um, oceans, I think is another one that they've got. And then she also did a Christmas unit, which was brought out just before Christmas last year. And that's one we did. And it was spanned over three weeks. It was four days a week. There are a few different ways that you can purchase the curriculum. You can purchase it printed from them and choose which like student handbooks you want. I think you can sign up to like a year's membership or like a year bundle. The way I did it was I just bought the PDF, which included the teacher's guide and all of the levels right from pre-reader through to high school. And the reason I did that is because I plan on doing this every Christmas with my kids and they can just move up to the next level every year. It's gonna be more like a tradition thing than it is school for us. So we do not use the gather round curriculum the rest of the year. I just did this for Christmas. I am quite an eclectic homeschooler. I like the option of picking different curriculum for different subjects and being able to chop and change as I feel necessary. And I think that's partly because we've just started and I'm feeling out different curriculum and what I think is gonna work best for us. And so while I love the concept of this, first of all, it's not something we need because I'm only home homeschooling one child right now. And I didn't wanna be locked into doing all of the subjects and you know not being able to chop and change so much. But I can see where this has this pl its place for sure. And it might be something that we turn to more in the future. I've also considered using it as like a weekly unit study. So we just do it one day a week. Uh, and that might be something that we do in the future. So there are lots of options. And that is the beauty of homeschooling is you get to pick and choose what you would like to do with your child. So let me get into the review of it. The way that each lesson works, and I do have a homeschool with me video that I did when we were doing this unit. So I'll go ahead and link that here. But basically you do like, a reading from the teacher's guide about that lesson that day and all the students sit there and listen to that and I had in the pre-reader and I might even have it in the early reader level they have a coloring in page that they color in while they're listening to you read and my three-year-old I did not print out a handbook for her but I did print out extra coloring pages so she could sit there and color while she was listening to the story as well and then after you've completed the reading, that's when the student handbooks are taken out and everyone works on their own thing. So they're all working on the same subject, the same topic, but they might have slight variations in what their work then looks like, obviously, because different age groups, different levels, that kind of thing. So I loved that. I did find the reading a little long for my children. It was just, we had to break it up a little bit uh, to get them to sit and listen for that length of time was a bit hard, but that could also be because reading to them like that was quite new at the time. So if your children are used to having you read aloud to them a lot, then I think it won't be such an adjustment, but we were sort of just starting out at the time. So there was that. I love the illustrations. I love that this unit in particular, I'm not sure about the other units, but this unit in particular was very Christ focused. I didn't find any sort of like major doctrinal differences or anything. I felt it was quite neutral. And 
I loved it with my children. We really, really enjoyed it. Now, I know that that unit in particular was set up more for like tradition and fun activities with, as a family and not so much schoolwork per se, but there was some schoolwork in there. There was some, you know, oral narration, copy work. Uh, I know there's some math involved in the recipes in the old, older levels and the higher levels where they have to convert uh, units of measurement and that kind of thing. So it is still teaching your child it's not like there's no schoolwork in there at all but there are lots of fun family traditions in this unit specifically and I do love that it brought everyone together a lot and I think that all of the units do that it's all about bringing the family together gather around and learn together and personally I feel like that is one of my big reasons for homeschooling is to create strong bonds between my children and between them and I and um, this curriculum certainly encourages that. My criticisms. <laughs> One is just that I think there should be better labeling as far as the things in the appendix. It was a bit confusing about what was for what and how you were supposed to construct things, that kind of stuff. I kind of did a bit of guesswork. But I am also very aware this unit was pushed out quite quickly uh, to get it out in time for people to use before Christmas. So I know that they're working on it and updating it. And just the second thing was that there were a lot of typos. Like I'm not usually very critical because I understand we're human and there's going to be mistakes, but there were very obvious typos in quite a few of the lessons. But again, I understand they were pushing out in a hurry. So I think it is going to be corrected. It is going to be updated. Uh, and I know that they do have place for submissions and feedback and things like that on their website maybe or in their Facebook group, you'd have to check. But they do have a Facebook group which is really helpful so you can get a bit of feedback about these. Uh, I love that it was easy to print at home. It printed really well and it wasn't like, I feel like it's a fairly small unit as far as like the amount that needed to be printed. Granted it is a small unit. It was over three weeks, four days a week, uh, so 12 lessons total but it was beautiful. The other thing I'm going to say that I really liked about it is when it came to the activities, there were like two or three options and you could pick which one you were going to do. So I loved that because it meant that I could pick the one that I felt was easiest for us to do, was like the best thing for my children and uh, was good for like age appropriateness as well. So I really, really enjoyed that. Um, yeah. I feel like that's a fairly thorough review. It does come with a book list. All of the units have a book list, so you can go and get additional resources to read along with them. It's not like a book list that you're then directed to read from this book on that day or anything like that. It's just all supplemental. So I got a couple from the book list that I could find in my library, and then I just got other books that I felt went along with it. Uh, we read like a Christmas book every day leading up to Christmas. And YouTube was another great resource where you can find, if you couldn't find books in your library, you might be able to find them being read on YouTube. So that's another option. Uh, but I, yeah, I really enjoyed using it. I'm definitely going to use it this next Christmas and hopefully ones to come. And I love that I have the, all of the levels. So all of my children are going to be able to participate through the years. It's very exciting. If you are a homeschooling mom with lots of children, <laughs> this might be something that really interests you because it will simplify your day. Or if you're someone who loves unit studies, again, this might be right up your alley. I would go check it out. This video is in no way sponsored. I purchased everything on my own. Um, wasn't asked to do this video. It's just my own thoughts, and I thought it would be helpful to those of you looking at this curriculum. And you can check out my other videos that I've done on it. I will. They'll be linked in this video somewhere, and I might put them in the description below as well. But I hope it was helpful giving your feedback, what kind of schooler or homeschooler are you are you do you fit into any one box because I know I certainly do not like you go take the homeschool test and I'm like everything so yeah uh, let me know who what do you most relate to is it like the Charlotte Mason method is it a classical method or do you love the unit studies let me get to know you it'd be fun but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye what if the world had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars.